Hello and welcome to WP Forms. In this video, we're going to learn all about and how to use the HubSpot add-on by WP Forms. With the HubSpot add-on, you can easily connect your site's contact forms to your HubSpot account and directly send form submission data each time a user fills out and submits a form on your site. With that said, let's jump right in. After logging into your site and installing the HubSpot add-on from the WP Forms add-ons page, we'll then need to click on WP Forms, Settings, and then click on the Integrations tab. On this page, you'll see a list of all of your active and available integrations, including HubSpot. Click on the HubSpot option to expand it, and then click on Add New Account. A pop-up will appear where you can either create a new HubSpot account if you haven't done so already, or where you can log into your existing account. Once you've logged in, select your account name and click on the Continue with this account button. Afterwards, you'll need to allow WP Forms to access your HubSpot account. You'll then be redirected back to the integrations page of WP Forms. If the connection was successful, you should see a green connected status next to the integration. Now that we've connected our HubSpot account to WP Forms, let's go into the form builder to add the integration to our form. Click on the Add New button to go into the form builder. Once the builder has loaded, click on the Marketing tab on the left, and then select HubSpot. There you'll see a blue button called Add New Connection. When you click on it, a pop-up will appear, asking you to provide a nickname for this connection. This will be for internal use only, so you can name it whatever you want. Afterwards, you'll be able to select the specific HubSpot account you'd like to use, and then any of the available actions to perform in the second dropdown. Let's go through each one to learn more about what they do. Create or Update Contact will add a new contact to your HubSpot contact database. If you select this option, you'll see the following additional settings appear. In the Email dropdown, you'll select the Forms Email field. This will add the email address to your contact database. If you're using this form to update contact information, then this field will contain their old email address. In the New Email dropdown, you'll select the form field that will contain the user's new email address if you're using this form to update a contact's information. The form name field is pre-populated with your form's name by default and is used to analyze form submission data in HubSpot, but you can change this to whatever name you want. In the Lead Status dropdown, you can select the contact's sales, prospecting, or outreach status, which will help you specify where your contact is in the lifecycle stage. In the Contact Owner dropdown, you can assign an owner to this particular contact. Finally, you can automatically add a note to a contact's record by filling out the Notes field. Additionally, you can send more information to HubSpot by mapping your form's custom fields to any of the available properties in your HubSpot account. You can do this by selecting a HubSpot field in the Custom Field Name column, and then selecting a Form field in the Form Field Value column. You can also enable conditional logic so that the HubSpot add-on will perform this particular action if the user meets certain criteria, such as checking a checkbox, or filling out or selecting a particular field in your form. The next action to perform is Delete Contact. This action is pretty straightforward. You'll select the form field that contains the user's email address. If the user fills out and submits this form, then this email address will be deleted from your HubSpot account. However, you'll still be able to restore the record once it's deleted. The next action to perform is Company Connect. This action will allow you to connect contacts with a specific company record in HubSpot. If you select this action, you'll see the following settings. Email, where you'll select the email field in your form, and Company, where you'll choose a company that is currently present in your HubSpot account. If you'd like to automatically create and associate companies with contacts, you can use the Create or Update Contact action instead. You'll first need to enable this setting in HubSpot itself. You can learn more about how to do that by checking out their guide. You can find a link to this guide in the video description below. Finally, the last action to perform is Company Disconnect. This action will allow a contact to disconnect an associated company from the record. You'll see only one setting appear if you select this action, and that will be the email field. When you're done, save your changes, and go ahead and test the connection by submitting a test entry. Afterwards, log into your HubSpot account to view your newly added contact. And that's all there is to it. You now know how to use the HubSpot add-on by WP Forms. If you have any questions or concerns, please be sure to visit wpforms.com and check out our documentation page, which has step-by-step -step written instructions for all of our features and add-ons. 
If you need any extra technical help, please go to our contact page and reach out to our support team. Hey everybody, this is Daisy with WP Forms. Thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel where I can show you how to build smarter forms with WP Forms through our how-to videos and more.